Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, it's part two of top free apps for the one iPad classroom. Hi, my name is Guy Trainer, and this is iPads in the Classroom from Tech Edge. And today we're continuing our series about the One iPad Classroom, and the focus is on free apps. So today I want to talk about four more apps, or actually categories of apps, and you can choose between a few options in each. And the first thing I want to talk about are presentation uh, apps. So. Apple has their own presentation app called Keynote, but that is actually a paid app. It's a fantastic app, and we talked about it in previous uh, iPads in the Classroom shows. But this time, I really want to talk about two options that are free, and those are Prezi, which is a little bit different than your standard presentation uh, app, and then Slide Rocket, which comes from uh, Google. So let's start with Prezi. Prezi is a presentation software that takes a somewhat different take, as I said. And what it does is it allows you to zoom in and out of areas w within your presentation. So here is a, a Prezi that I've created in the past. And this is called the Flipped Classroom. And you can see that the presentation itself in a presentation mode can look very much like a classic slide. but. If you see, it moves in a different way. And interestingly, also integrates some uh, different media, in this case, uh, a movie, very, very uh, seamlessly. So you can move between one and the next. You can turn that off and then move to uh, the next piece. This is a multi-platform uh, creation. Prezi has a paid account possibility as well. If you get the free account, which is what we're all about here today, uh, you actually have to keep those online. So you have to always be connected. But that is, for most of us, not a problem, especially not when we're presenting in our classroom. We tend to be connected. So you can see um, how this works out. You can zoom in and out. You can have these larger or smaller, and you can actually, with your finger, then go back and see the whole canvas that you have, and then go back to a specific uh, piece in here, or go back to your presentation. So this is called Prezi. And I'll go straight into the second option. And the second option, as I said, is called Slide Rocket from uh, Google. So here are some. Uh, keynotes that, uh, or PowerPoints that I've imported from another uh, place. And you can see that this is the traditional slide-based approach. And you can go into any of these slides. You can play them. And you can also publish them. So you can, this is just the, the notes. It needs to download the whole thing. So you can see that it's actually downloading one slide at a time to allow me to actually edit it, this becomes something that you can serve both in your classroom and for access after kids are in your classroom, for consumption when they're home. If you're flipping a specific topic and you want them to view it, it's fairly easy. So if you can see, just by sliding your finger, you can move it from one slide to the next. If you slide up, you can see all the slides, and you can jump to a specific slide. So very versatile. Again, you can bring presentations from somewhere else, and you can import presentation you've done uh, otherwise. And you can see that here, the few things you can do besides playing it to your classroom, you can invite others to view it. And you can produce some analytics to see who's watched it or how many times it was watched. Now I'd like to go to a second category, and that category has to do with creating videos. The first one is the most obvious one, and that is the camera app from uh, Apple. If you just turn on the camera app and switch it from taking stills to taking video, 
And the most important thing is, while you're using your own device, is just turn the camera around, so use the, uh, the camera that you use, and you can see the rest of our studio here. Uh, you can use the camera that is front facing and simply to start shooting you press the red button it starts shooting it records your audio so we can create a short uh, video right now i've used this often in my classes and i think that's an easy way to create one so we've got the 30 second uh, 36 second video and then we can go to our this is a uh, a copy of the video and to share it we simply press on that share button and there's a button that sends it directly to YouTube. So there are three privacy options there. So if you're really feeling apprehensive about sharing this universally, you either give uh, your students a password or you just give them the link and say, do this and you can erase it later. The other two allow you to do something a little bit different. And those two are called EduCreations and Show Me. You have a board, so you see, unlike camera, this does not take your own picture. Instead, it allows you to create things on the screen itself. You just press record, and then you can start drawing on it. So you can do 2 plus 1 equals, and create a problem, show kids how you do that. You create two objects, and then you add one, and then you count them, one, two, three. And this is how you solve this problem. Obviously, not a very sophisticated problem. Um, some other advantages, I, what I did right now was in real time, but you can actually set your background or the problem on the board before you start. So instead of starting with recording, what you can do is, here I'll clear the page, you can prepare the problem before you start shooting and then as you start shooting you already have something to work with then you can stop add another layer and when you're done and I'm saving this fan fantastic lesson and this is addition and obviously you can include a bigger description and you can see that you can share this privately or you can share this publicly and you can see other areas and that way other people can have access to it as well but th you don't have to do it this way so you can also do it privately and say save and you need to create an account and that way you can provide a link that your students can go to and watch this very same video just a brief look at show me show me is as i said another uh, app very similar to the EduCreations. Again, you get this board, you get the ability to add pictures, to draw this first, different colors. Once you finish saving, you can share it with your students. Right now, I'd like to add one more app that is free and you can use uh, to organize your classroom. And this one is called Edmodo. And Edmodo is a classroom app and what it allows you to do is to communicate with your students online. So what you do is you create a login. And what you will see as the interface comes up is this thing. And that is the interface is, looks very, very similar to Facebook. And this might give you a start, but actually we find that students like this very, very much. The advantage is, of course, unlike Facebook, it's not open to the world. It's actually closed to your classroom only. So only the students in your classroom that you add to your Edmodo site actually are able to access it. So you can see that at home it looks like Facebook and you can send messages, links to your video that you created with those other apps. So, when you use Edmodo, you can use a few modes. This is the uh, home screen. You can also switch to a calendar, a traditional calendar, and that allows kids to see what assignments they have or what events might happen that week. Uh, there's badges, which is another way to look at grades or feedback to students, and resources as well. So if we move back to our home button, you can see that you can use this. You can create groups. Uh, you can send assignments this way, notes, quizzes, and polls. So, Not just that it, you can use this for teaching students about whatever the topic is or to do their research, but you're actually 
teaching them something about how you interact productively around uh, social networks and around uh, learning software. So today, when we discussed our top three apps for the One iPad Classroom, we talked about some presentation software, we talked about video software, and now we talked about some classroom software. And the great thing here is you have multiple options to do this, and you have all of it available to you free as long as you have your iPad. And I'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.